Hi and welcome to my channel again. This is the part three of the repainting series that I've been doing. So I hope that uh, you've been really, hope it's helpful. I hope you've been learning a lot. Uh, if you're wanting to learn how to repaint and I hope this is super helpful for you. I'll probably do it again in the future. Um, not for a little while though, cause this is, this was uh, long, long videos. But this is it. It's over, and I hope that it's helpful. You can always go back and reference the other two videos over and over again as much as you need, and you can always ask me questions down in the comments. I will happily answer any questions that you may have. So I will see you on the other side. Bye. Okay, I'm about to do some more pan pastels, and I noticed when I pulled out the... Do you like how I keep this? These were essential oils box. I find these little boxes and then I keep brushes in them. Isn't that clever? I know, it's so clever. Anyhow, look at how white her body is compared to her face. Like, she literally looks normal skin tone and not so white anymore. So I might want to add some more white back. Oopsies, but I mean, I'm not unhappy with it. So don't get me wrong. I'm not. I like it. But um, we're going to definitely have to do some color. <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> to her body so let's just start with whatever I have in the brush we'll see what we've got what we're working with because what will happen is is when you start doing it it's going to catch the edges sort of like dry brushing it's just going to catch the edges but I'm going to put a little bit of skin tone in there She's a vampire, but she's not pure white. She has a little bit of fleshiness to her. And I'm just going to kind of brush that over. Can you see how it's catching the edges? Which is fine because we want some dimensions. So I don't want too much. So I'm going to take my fingers and just sort of lightly wipe away some excess. Just a little bit. I'm not going to do like some crazy um, full body thing. I'm just giving her some something to match her face a little bit better. And I'm even going to take the white and top that off just so I can blend it out a little bit. And of course I'll have to go spray her because she, uh, it won't stay if I don't spray. <laughs> I rhymed. I'm going to take a little bit of pink that I mixed. I don't know what colors they are. I don't remember what colors they are, but I want to give her a little bit of pink on her shoulders. And, um, over here. Like that. That's probably not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to spray it anyway. I just wanted to wipe off some of the extra. It was a little bit too much. I'm just going to get into it. And uh, I want to take a little bit of the blue. Kind of a blue-gray that I made. And kind of go around the boobs a little so that it will give it, I don't know, like a little bit, but there's a lot of veins in boobs. So let's give it kind of a blue cast. And uh, more white. And then I'll come back again after I have given it a spray. I don't know why I'm talking so weird. Hold on, just guys, I'm just, you know what it is? It's almost lunchtime, and I really haven't eaten much for breakfast, so I think I'm just hungry, and I'm just starting to fade a little bit, which happens after hours and hours of sitting still and painting. It just, it just does. You start to fade, so I'm going to need to take a break. But uh, I'm going to spray her so I want to make sure she gets her, her white back in there. On top of 
top of her nose. <sighs> you know what's cool about this too? It gives it a little bit of a texture. So it's almost like she has skin texture. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. I'm just doing the white. I'll probably come back again. I may need more than one time again. <laughs> um, I sort of lost my line there, but that's okay. I'll come back. Fix it. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I really want to add... Oh, let me cover this, because if I stick my thumb in it, it'll... It'll leave a print, so we cover it. Okay, there we go. Your hands have oils, and they uh, they can leave marks, so try to keep them off after you've put your color on there. You've laid your, and you haven't sealed it yet. And also, wait till it dries, because you don't want it to be like a big thumbprint in your work. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I need something smaller to get into the little areas. Um, I need to dust that off. Okay. I want to get up underneath her lip too and give her a little bit more there and under her nose it looks like I've lost some okay so I'm going to take this guy <clears throat> one of these and I'm going to go under the eyes to kind of give it a <clears throat> little bit more blended look <laughs> there we go <laughs> and then okay yes she has like a like a kind of a gray shadow under her nose in the picture and I'm trying to stay true to form to uh, the, the the doll's picture so I might not always do things exactly like this like each doll I think is a different approach anyway <sighs> you can see how you're thinking okay I've got all that dust and stuff in the eye <sighs> but um, I'm gonna take a clean brush and uh, and and remove that before I before I uh, spray her again because you, you want to make sure she's she's really cleaned up before you spray. Right there, right there. And finally, I want to give the nose a little bit more contour. Here. Uh oh, I just dropped my cloth. The nose and I aren't friends right now. I would like to be friends. Let's see if this guy is going to be helpful. An old paintbrush. It's good. It's working. I just need it to, um, and I need something smaller for the nostrils because they're so tiny. 
So I might just grab one of my older paintbrushes that's really little like this and uh, I'll just come around here and I kind of give myself an outline with the paint but you can't see it very well anymore because I covered it. Alright, there we go. Let's do the same thing over here. The problem with pen pastels or any other kind of pastels or even paint or whatever in dolls is it goes dirty really fast. So you have to make sure to keep it clean and blended so you don't get like a dirty look to your to your um, repaint. You want it to look as natural as possible. And uh, you know that means patience. A lot of patience. Okay. All right. I'm 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 almost happy. <sighs> See, you can hear me blowing off the the white. I love the lips. I'm really feeling the lips. I feel like they look really pretty. All right. All right, let's test her. She looks a lot more white now, which is what I was going for. Very, um, I don't know, pretty natural. I love it. Okay, so what is left? I have to spray her again, but I'm going to clean off the eyes just to make sure there's no debris. And she'll need her hairline painted. And um, what else? I won't know really until I spray it. Black eyeliner, eyelashes, touch up on those eyebrows, which I actually think I'm going to hit those a little bit right this minute. Where's this guy? With some black. Where's the black? With some black pan pastel. Oh, I was saying earlier I bought these pan pastels on Amazon and I got the I got the uh, the kit that was the portrait kit. So that in my last video. But what I didn't mention was the black. Ooh, did you see how I just did that? That's okay. There should be some shadow around the eyebrows because you know there's like little tiny hairs that make a shadow. You can't see. Anyway, some of the colors you have to buy separately. I mean, you could buy other kits too, but I bought I bought a black separately um, because the portrait kit didn't come with black. Whoa, that is not what we want. <laughs> okay, so before you spray, make sure you dust off any little particles. And uh, check the eyes. So I'm just going to take some water and a brush. And I'm um, going to wipe those off to make sure that there's no dust particles. The eyes are nice and clean. One more time. You can almost see where it had like little dust on it. You want to wipe those off, and you also want to do that with the lips, too. You can use Pan Pastels to totally do the lips. Sorry, somebody was honking outside. Not my house. As well, if you want to. I didn't this time. Is such a bold lip. But, um, yeah, I think it's time for her to be sprayed. And I think it's probably time for me to take a lunch break before I come back and finish her up. That was the longest lunch break ever because the whole weekend went by and I didn't get her finished um, last week. So this week I have to do her hairline and her, she needs eyelashes, more eyeliner. I'm going to see if my paint is still good. It's in the freezer. So hopefully I still have paint and then of course more blushing on the body and uh, yeah, just everything. So 
I think I'm going to start by getting the paint. So let me go get the paint and we will get going on the final video of the part three series. And it did turn out to be three parts because it was, it's just a long process. So I'll be right back. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the paint to kind of unthaw, like it's thaw, it's frozen solid, I am going to go in with a little tiny bit of Pan Pastels around the edges of her hairline where it was covered by the sock. And just sort of touch that up a little bit to give it some color because you can see where it looks really white. So I'm just going to kind of go around the edges a little bit and uh, color those in. And some of that's going to be painted too, but I just want to kind of flesh that out a little. And her ears will need some color as well. So just a little tiny bit there. Not a lot because you don't want it all in the hair. Just just a little bit, almost basically what's left on your brush. Don't worry about those ears. We'll get to them. And she's going to need her hair done, but I haven't figured out how to do my camera again. I've done it before, but my camera is going to have to be set in a different position for me to do the hair. So I don't know if that's going to happen in this video. If it does, surprise, but I don't think so. But I will, I'll, I'll get to that. I do have a hair video here that you can go and reference that uh, will pretty much tell you what to do anyway. <clears throat> so you can go find that on my channel. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's find a brush. And I've got my cloth here. Let's see if I can get any paint out of the out of the uh, frozen paint. It is very frozen. Oh no, it's not moving. I'm going to have to pause this and give it a second. Hallelujah. We are there. So she has her, um, her paint is thinned out again. It's so great that you can do that. It's so, uh, it's so nice to know you're not going to waste your paint. So I'm just going to go around her hairline starting here. I'll just give her like a little sideburn there. I'm just going to go ahead and get it started. This is kind of an easier way of doing it is to just go around the hairline first and uh, just fill that in. There's a one hair that's kind of poking out there it's in my way. Ah, let me get in there. Let me uh, get some more paint. So let me make sure it's not too thick. I'm just going to kind of go around her hairline. It doesn't look too cute, but don't worry about that. We'll fill that in. Same deal over here. Give, give her a little start of, start of one. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, my pencil. And I'm going to do some with the pencil because it's so soft. So I'm just giving it like tiny little hair like strokes so that it um, kind of feathers out like natural hair. And then I'll come back in with the paint and I'll darken that up. I don't bother with the back because nobody can see that anyway. The hair will be down. So if her hair was up, it's going to stay up. I go all the way around, but no point in doing it if nobody's going to see it. It's not like you're looking at the back of her head anyway. So just follow that kind of make them like erratic and you know kind of going this way and that way so 
So they kind of look just like natural little hairs around your hairline. Over here you're giving a little bit more structure like on the other side um, to give the illusion that the hair is actually growing from the head. Go back over it and just kind of go. Whoa, Is that wind? That was weird. It was like whistly. It's a really pretty day today. It's a warm day for February in Florida. I mean, Florida is known for being warm, but it's to me, it's still February. Can't we have some more spring, please? Actually, I think we're going to get some next weekend it was hot this weekend not monstrously hot not summer hot but uh, it was hot and it's supposed to cool down this coming weekend so I'm gonna try to find some outdoor time we did go to the park and take a walk on Saturday that was really nice the weather was nice and uh, there's some, uh, some, it's on a lake, so there's, there's a nice breeze. So when I go back in here and I'm painting with the dark, now the black paint right on top of that, you can kind of see how um, the other pencil kind of peeks out underneath and it gives you uh, dimension, I guess you would call it, like um um a layering one is one is very dark and one is lighter so it gives it more like hair like i guess i kind of know how to explain it but it definitely works for me that way i can kind of keep it simple a simple method that uh has been working am i in the camera frame there sorry if i'm not I finally did my nails too. Um, my other ones were looking really shabby. So I got that taken care of over the weekend. Finally. And I've only put one coat of color on them so far because I have no patience to wait for them to dry. So I will put another coat on soon. It dries faster if you do it like that. Didn't really have anywhere to go this weekend. We stayed in. I worked on um, on the weekends. I don't work on dolls so much uh, because I work on it um, all day, every day during the week. So on the weekends, I do other art. Um, I paint mermaids or. Um, do portraits. I'm gonna. I'm doing a portrait now. I worked on it last night. Oh, and uh, I started a mermaid, but I wasn't feeling that painting, so I'll have to go back, back to it, and uh, see if if she's speaking to me. I don't know why I can't get the flow over here. I think it's because this thing is freaking me out. Let me move it. There we go. I think it was just bothering me that it's sticking out like that. I should trim that off. It really bothers me. Um, let's see, what else did we do? We watched the ending of the Olympics. I worked on that portrait and I just exhausted myself because I worked on it until, oh, I don't know, 10.30, I think. Uh, no, 9.30, 9.30, because I was in bed by 10.30. And, because I wanted to finish, I wanted to finish the one part of it. I do like a, when I do portraits that are watercolor, I go back and do pan pastels, and then I go back and do pencils, or I'll do pencils and pan, I don't know. I have like a three-part way of doing it. And uh, I wanted to get the watercolor laid in last night, and I did it because I knew 
Sometimes when I try to do both kind of things, like paint on canvas or paper or whatever, but then I also do the dolls during the day, I will get uh, creative overload exhaustion and uh, I just have to not do anything. Pick a show and just be mindless for a, a few hours or go somewhere, get out of the house coffee with a friend I've done that in the middle in the morning sometimes I think you have to give yourself if you work from home you have to give yourself some time to um, be something other than always in the house I guess that's the way I'm trying to say it because I spend so much time at home so it's good to get out of the house visit a friend just go to the store, whatever it is you need to do. Okay, I'm going to go in here now and just... I kind of lost her crease from uh, the Pan Pastels softening it. So I kind of want to like more, make that just a little bit more defined. I'm just going to slightly come in here and just sort of... Brush it in. Change the shape of her eyelids a little bit to be more like what that painting was. And then I'm going to touch up her eyebrows because um, sometimes they lose their, uh, how dark they are from uh, all the pan pastel work. So you might have to go in and touch it up a little bit just to get some more definition in there. And I need to fix the top of this one because it, to me, it does not match. Now, eyebrows are, what is it my daughter always says? Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. And that is really true even in art. Like they don't match. Ours don't match. So it's okay to have them a little different, but one of them, if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, one is rounded and one is kind of like flat. So I'm trying to build up a little bit more roundness to this one. So at least they're sisters, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I just want to give it just a little bit more. I think repainting is really about how delicate you are. It's a very delicate process. Everything is just oh, very tiny. And uh, even the little bitty hair on the end of your brush will mess things up. So it's a very delicate thing. When my paint starts getting to the point where I can't freeze it anymore, I can use it still on canvas because um, it's, you know, it still works for canvas, but doll dolls are just uh, too delicate. They need a, they need it to be really flowing and you get it. You get it. We're so close. I'm going to start putting in her eyelashes. This brush is really, really nice for eyelashes. It's very, very delicate. Um, it is the one I got from Michaels. What's it called? Um, no, it's not. I'm a fibber. Oh, no, it is. It is. It's an Artist Loft Vienna. 18 slash zero in size round and it's a it has a very it's a nice sharp edge I don't know how long it will last but um, it is definitely uh, giving me what I need well now it's not <laughs> that's my fault though operator error it's just the flow I'm, I'm, I'm so up on top of this. All right. 
Um, I was having some difficulty getting the flow right. Let's try that. Put a little bit of water in it. Water can sometimes over dilute the black. So you have to be careful. I don't use a lot of water now. I use the extender, which is just new, but I'm liking it much better than the uh, than water. So just giving her some little delicate eyelashes. I'm going to pull these out just a little bit. And let's go up to the top and start building up those. It, it's okay to go over them and then come back. I'm losing paint, so. Like, you can go over them several times. All right, nope, nope, nope. All right, there we go. It's it's kind of tricky, I think, to paint doll eyelashes because they're curved, the doll's curved, and they don't always want to agree with you on where the eyelash should be placed. And hers, her makeup is dark and smoky, so I'm going to have to I'm going to have to beef up the eyelash so it can be seen. All right, that looks pretty good. Oh, we're so close to finishing this doll. At least her uh at least her makeup, her face and her uh, paint job. Super close. Yeah, I'm loving this brush. So close. When I tell that, I can tell when the brush is starting to lose the flow. I'll just, um, I'll just touch up. I won't go all the way up into the higher part. I'll stop because it'll just make a mess otherwise. There we go. Let's see here. Okay, so close. Uh oh. You see that little? curved piece there. I'm going to have to take something to that. If I, if you're, if you're quick and it's really delicate, you can grab a toothpick and just sort of take it away. Oh, come on. If you can get your toothpick. So I've just got one that's bending the wrong way. Just want to take a little bit off there. Okay, now I have to decide if I wanted to have a little bit more eyeliner, which I do. And then I think, other than her ears being warmed up, I think she's ready for hair. I just want to make sure it's nice and dark. The um, the matte sealer can suck the paint right in, so you might have to go over it a little bit. Uh oh, a little bit too much right there. Oh, there we go. I'm getting so up in there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying, guys, for you to see it. And then your paint doesn't want to flow. Aye. 
It's either too much or not enough. All right, there we go. Yes, that looks pretty. Okay, I think she looks really cool. So I'm going to put a little bit of Pam Pastel in her ears, and then I'm going to do her hair. So the next thing you're going to see for me is a picture of the completed doll. So I hope you, I hope you learned something from this. And if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos where I just talk through it, just leave a comment and I'll try to do more of that. Or I can do little short things like how to do one little thing. I, I already filmed um, a little video on how to do freckles. So uh, that one's only like 10, 10 to 12 minutes long. Anyhow, uh, thanks for joining me. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and maybe all three videos because it's a crazy long, but you know, whenever I watch videos on YouTube, I just generally, I, uh, I, I break them up if I can't watch them all in one sitting. But you can always go back to and, you know, paint along with me if you like. Um, I will leave below uh, a list of all of the things that I used. Thank you again for joining me and I will see you next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye.